Good morning, guys. Let's make breakfast. girl finally went grocery shopping so I'm just having a little bagel thin I like these because I like bagels but like you know a whole bagel is not great for you so sometimes I have a little bagel thin I just made some scrambled eggs I have some fresh raspberries and I'm just trying out this tea um, green tea blueberry slim life from Yogi I really like Yogi it's just to promote like energy in the morning boost your metabolism um, and I like blueberry tea so I thought why not Yes, good morning. All right guys, I just finished filming this little natural makeup look for an Instagram tutorial. It's like my classic, like Alex <laughs> everyday glam, where it's just very, very neutral. It's what I like, okay? So I'm gonna get ready to film now. I have a project I need to film. Um, so I'm gonna do my hair, and I thought we could do a little tutorial about my little like kind of beach waves. Um, more of just like a textured bob look. I get a lot of requests for it, so. I brought my tripod to the bathroom because I'm professional. I'm gonna wash my hands because I feel like there's a lot of makeup on them right now because I just did my makeup. So I got these um, sent for to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mullen and Sparrow sent these to me um, just like as a sweet little gift. They're the Enlightened Oils and I had, oh, they're from the fifth Veda. I will link them down below because a lot of you guys have been asking me about them. Then there's like a set. Um, there's seven in the set and they all have different meanings. If you like essential oils, I love them. I personally feel like they make a huge difference in my energy, my mood. They just kind of lift you up and they all have kind of different purposes. Um, I'm going to put on solar plexus today, number three. So this one is to, when balanced, the solar plexus chakra supports our center of personal power, motivation, and self-confidence used to promote feelings of direction, assertiveness, and self-possession. Um, notes of jasmine and patchouli. I use all of them kind of for different <laughs> moods, but like I'm kind of just like doing me today. <laughs> um, so I put Oh, it smells so good. It smells like the beach. I put a little bit on my inner wrists and a little bit on the back of my hands and then a little bit on the sides of my neck. Uh, and it just, it almost works as a perfume for me too. I feel like I'm wearing perfume a lot less because these smell good for the whole day. And I just, whenever I need a little <laughs> energize, I'm like, mm, I love them. They're so good. Um, and I don't know if you want to get into oils. It's like a nice little starter kit. It's kind of pricey, but you get seven of them and you don't use much. You'll have them for a while. I use them every single day, no joke, I'm obsessed. So, hair, what are hair, what are this? So, we're gonna just do some classic touch, tussled, tussled, tussled beach waves today. Thumbnail, anyone? Yeah! I kind of like when my part is a little off, it looks a little bit more like worn and natural, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with this messy little part today. So, yes, I get a lot of questions. This is such an easy hair tutorial, it is so quick. Also, this shirt is really cute, it has a bow down here, but like, right here, it looks like a boring little t-shirt. So I had to <laughs> had to show you. I've done these tutorials before, um, like messy beach waves, but this one's more of just like, kind of a lived in look, it's a little bit less, eff <laughs> a little bit less effortless, a little bit more effortless. So I have my Numi wand turned all the way up, turn up, lit to 200 degrees. <laughs> I think that green tea, green tea gave me some energy, which is great. So what I do, you're not even going to section it. You're just going to take a few random sections of hair and the bottom one is we just want to create some bend and I'm going to do them in different directions. I'm just, as you can see, I'm just like effortlessly wrapping them around like once or twice just to create a little um, texture in the hair. So if you have... Hello, my name is Breakage, what's yours? So if you have a, uh, like naturally kind of similar hair texture to mine, cause my hair is naturally, it dries pretty straight. It's like an ugly straight, but it's like relatively straight. Um, I would kind of blow dry your hair in a straight-ish way first. If you can't let it air dry like this. 
um, because I don't think this will work on like a very wavy hair texture. So I'm just kind of effortlessly wrapping it around, holding it very briefly just on the top layer. And I'm going back and forth. Pretty much every other I'll do curling towards and then curling away my, from my face. And then it's just starting to create some wavy texture. I'm going to be honest, this looks way better on dirty hair. And I just took a shower last night. Um, so, <laughs> but I have some little tips and tricks on how to like tussle it up and make it look a little bit more lived in, a little bit more worn. And then I just kind of start to like run my fingers through and tussle it a bit. And then you'll kind of start to see it come to life. Like this is literally such a simple, simple hairstyle and I do it almost every day. I just want to create a little bend in the hair. A little bit of a natural texture here. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. Alright, so this is what it looks like at the moment. As you can see, just a little bit of texture. Um, I don't worry too much about the bottom layer. You just don't really have to with this hair look. That's why I love it. It's simple. I think that's why I've been loving my hair short because it's just easier for me, especially in the summer, thinking about tape and extensions for the fall um, just for a nice little change. But for right now, I'm really loving the short hair. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Touchable Hairspray. Oh. And one of my favorite ways to make hair look a little bit more worn is just add a little bit of dry shampoo for texture. It just kind of roughens up the hair a little bit because you know how when hair is like freshly washed, it's kind of like slippery and shiny and it's great. <laughs> it's great, but not for this look, honey. So I'm just going to start to tussle. Then you can kind of start to see it come to life in that really cool beachy look. And of course, you guys know I love my Living Proof Dry Volume Blast. Blast a little on the roots. Kind of puff it up a little because I love some lift on And I just kind of tussle it and then you have that natural texture beachiness going on and just kind of like fluff it around and play with it until it feels you know right but um it's it's so easy like I probably started filming this like oh I can see on my viewfinder I started filming this seven <laughs> minutes ago um and I've been talking to you guys a lot it's it's such a quick thing um like the meme <laughs> all right guys I just finished filming a special video I actually filmed um a fat girl life hack video for summer so I'm really excited to get that up um so I'm about to go out and get my package <sighs> If you follow me on Snapchat, I've been having like major problems with FedEx at my apartment. <sighs> the guy who delivers my packages half the time doesn't ring the bell or like try and I'm usually here and then I have to go get the packages, which is fine. It's not, but it is, whatever. So I'm going to go over to FedEx. Let's try to get this package because the last time I went, <laughs> um, the slip said to go pick it up there. I got there and he said it was delivered at my house that day. Why? 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 Um, but I'm really liking my outfit today. It's kind of different for me. Um, this crop top is from Target. And then these really cute, um, high-waisted, unique culottes are from ASOS. They're really cool. Like, they come up and they have this little detailing here. I'm wearing this little bracelet from Stitch Fix. My ring. My Alexandra necklace. All gold accents. And then just some sandals. Um, but, I don't know. It's kind of cute. Makes me look tan. Ooh. Let's go to FedEx, honey. Another hot one. Woo. Hey, see, on me. Boston, why are you so hot? <sighs> A reminder popped up on my phone. Pick up your FedEx. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Hi. No. 
Um, I've been on like a PewDiePie binge lately. Um, cause I kind of like just discovered him. <laughs> I know he's like the top YouTuber or whatever, but I've never really watched him until now. <laughs> um, I've just been watching a lot of his like try not to laugh videos <laughs> and like reaction videos and they're friggin' funny. Where am I going? 17 minute drive to go two and a half miles. <laughs> I should just walk, but um, it's like a lot of highways and stuff. It's not like a walkable, it's not really a walkable situation. Let's just hope the package is there. But yeah, um, kind of in love with PewDiePie right now, so cool. Success! All right guys, so I have just been home chilling and editing a video. I'm really mad because I completely forgot to show you guys my lunch, um, but I'm gonna break it down because I still have everything out. Um, so FYI, I am still doing the Weight Watchers. I took like kind of like a couple weeks off because um, I was just living life, fell off track, that's life, I'm human, real talk, it happens to all of us. Um, but Weight Watchers works for me, I lost 15 pounds on it the first few weeks. Um, it does work for me, it's um, easy for me to follow, certain things work for everyone, I don't judge you, you don't judge me, whatever works for you, works for you. But um, I love Weight Watchers and I love the point system, I am going to still do a video on that, for a while I was contemplating not doing it, but I need to stay true to myself, and I love Weight Watchers, you guys a lot of you seem to really like when I talk about it and want me to make a video on it. So once I get back on track, like in a few weeks, I'll definitely be making that video. And um, I'm sorry I almost didn't even continue to do it. Like that was almost just like childish. Like I I like it, so I should continue to do it, you know? Um, I shouldn't stop doing something just because I got a few negative comments about it. So anyway, let me show you guys one of my favorites lunches um that was super low points so the, the my breakfast this morning was really low points too just some eggs the bagel thin um and some point free raspberries so i'm really excited i found these at stop and shop last night they're the nature's promise free form uncured turkey hot dogs zero points honey zero points um but i had two which was one point so i had two of these hot dogs um i scanned a bunch of different buns at stop and shop they all had three three or higher points so i just got some regular hot dog buns so i had two which was six points then i had a tiny bit of this turkey chili no beans 98 percent fat free which shouldn't have many points um and I had two chili dogs with some hot sauce and they were super delicious and they were like I think like eight points or something for both it was really good um so that's what I had for lunch <laughs> but I also do have a new boxy charm we can open together so let's set you down okay so new boxy charm I know I'm not really like on their own anymore uh but I don't think you guys seem to mind it from what I've seen, hopefully. But uh, yeah, let's open Boxy Charm. Ooh, I see some sort of watery thing here. From Project Beauty, we have Spray Set Go Makeup Setting Spray. Ooh, never heard of this brand before. Let's put some on, shall we? Get a little sniff. Ooh, it's this what? Oh. What? <laughs> what? What is going on? Wait, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Wait, I'm so baffled. Don't judge me right now, fam. But look, like there's no pumpy pump. And then when you take it off, what? No. <laughs> Someone's gonna comment and be like, Alex, you're so dumb. <laughs> Why didn't you do it? No, but like, I'm not kidding. I feel so stupid right now. Also, I was hot walking home. I just threw my hair up. I'm gonna pull some pieces down so I look a little less I don't know it didn't really work um <laughs> it's weird because there's like a little dot right here but like how do you get it to come out I feel really dumb I do there's got to be an easy way do I squeeze am I supposed to squeeze nope someone has to comment I'm genuinely relying on you right now to tell me how to do this I don't know like, is mine broken? Like, okay, moving on, because that's just pissing me off. <laughs> Ooh! We have a Hello Kitty ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. Holla! I remember when the Hello Kitty collection came out. I almost bought some, but I'm glad I didn't, because here. Ooh, this looks like a color I already have from ColourPop. It's fine. Um, it's still really pretty, but um, what color looks like this? It's called Lock Diary. This looks like, not Bieber. 
Remember when I did a big color pop haul? Definitely had a color like this. But you know what? Let's save this for a giveaway. Um, put it in the giveaway pile. I want to do a giveaway when we hit 300,000, but like that's kind of far. I might do it sooner. Um, ooh, wow. Some popping brands in here. We have the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. And like I always say, if you guys don't know or you don't watch me normally, BoxyCharm is, <laughs> BoxyCharm is, um, lost my train of thought. It's, I think, $19.99 a month or $24.99 a month, something like that. But they're all full-size products and, um, they're really, really good too. Like, I love that it's full-size. You always get a ton for your, a ton for your money. So this is a translucent powder duo. We have matte and glow. Oh, what? This looks so nice. Okay, this this one is like kind of glowy. It has like a really nice shimmer to it. This reminds me of the ambient lighting palette from Hourglass. Also, I didn't reapply my lipstick after lunch, so I look a little crazy. And then this one's nice and matte. We have a big mirror. Ooh, I can't wait to play with that. And then we have from Blink Cosmetics, the Electric Eyes Palette. Ooh. <gasps> Stop. What? Look at that. Oh, they're like butter. One swipe. One swipe. Oh my gosh. What? That's one swipe. Oh my god. That is so pigmented. There's still so much on my finger. It's good because I really don't have a lot of like shimmery shades. I'm such like a neutral matte girl. It's not like me to like pick up very shimmery shades, which I want to. Um, I'm going to play with this. We should do a tutorial with it. Like these swatches are insane. I don't know if they're translating on camera. They're like pure, pure pigment, metallic pigment. <laughs> and then lastly, we have, is this an eyebrow pencil? It's from Winky Lux. I think this is a brow pencil. This looks like a brow pencil. The shape, sweet. I actually do need some more brow stuff. Actually, I probably don't need more brow stuff, but like I like more brow stuff. <laughs> All right, so the Electric Eyes Palette by Blink is $45. The Ultra Matte Lip from ColourPop is $6. The Translucent Powder Duo is $32. And then the Universal Brow Pencil by Winx Winky Lux is $12. And then the Makeup Setting Spray is $32. So you get a lot, a lot, a lot for your money. Who is texting me? It's just a reminder to pay my cell phone bill. Uh -huh. okay, so that's all from BoxyCharm. And uh, see you later. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So it has been um, a day since I last vlogged. Um, I think that was the last time I vlogged. It's just kind of blurry right now. So I thought I would end the vlog by me um, getting ready for today. <laughs> and then I might start a new vlog. Um, I just woke up. I woke up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I woke up really late today. I had a really, I've been having a very hard time sleeping. Um, um, it's just been a very frustrating time. I don't know why I'm having a hard time sleeping. My skin feels dry. My skin never feels dry. That's weird. All right, let's use a different primer. Let's use the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Primer. This one's a little more hydrating. I never feel dry. I think it's from getting all this sun. Uh, so, having a really hard time sleeping lately. Been very, very anxious lately. Um... I don't know. Well, I kind of know why. I just have a lot going on right now. Um, <laughs> that was cute. So, uh, just trying to figure some life things out. Uh, so yeah, that happens. That makes life stressful. I'm just gonna spray a little matte finish spray just because even though I feel dry, I am an oily person. And I am filming this on my vlogging camera, so hopefully it's not not too uh blurred for you the, bl the blurring filter is still broken on this camera it's always going to be that way that's why i only use this camera for vlogging now um but like when i get up close it goes in and out it's very annoying but my skin is in a really good place right now because after vacation like my skin i probably eat too much junk food while i was on vacation because you know that's life but um my skin has finally calmed down your girl's back to eat and all the healthy things. So let me turn you a little. Now I can see myself in the mirror. I'm gonna use my Maybelline um, Better Skin today because it has SPF and it's the right shade. And I love this formula. If you guys haven't tried this yet, I'm obsessed. I need to buy another one. Like this stuff stays on so well. 
and it's such a beautiful easy blendable formula i had it laying on its side and i can't i can't get it out hello there you are hello shalom so and i've also been absolutely loving the eco tools sponge i just cleansed it wet it it's nice and squishy i've uh, been loving it i use it every day it everyone's asking me like a comparison between the beauty blender the eco tools one and the real techniques one um this one reminds me a lot of the eco tool um the real technique sponge a lot like it's a very similar consistency if you've tried both the real beauty blender and then the real techniques orange one you can feel it's kind of a textural difference like the real techniques ones is more like thick and a little bit more dense when you wet it and the beauty blender stays a little bit more airy in my opinion um i like them both but uh there's a difference in texture and this one reminds me a lot of the real techniques one but i do like having two slants on here because i set my concealer with baking powder on one and then i use the other side for liquid concealer so it, it's nice to have both slanted edges i had a really weird dream last night i don't even know if i should tell you <laughs> um oh, it, it's why was I thinking about that? It was like I was stuck somewhere and there people were being like brainwashed and I had to like hide and then escape. It was very strange. I'm like, where is this coming from? It felt very get out movie-ish and I'm like, I didn't watch this for weeks. Why am I <laughs> why am I thinking like this? It was really weird. Oh, this like remember when I got that really big set of like acne right here when I first moved? like a major stress, stress, stress pimple cluster. Now it like scarred. Oh, and I learned I'm scarring a lot easier now because of the acne medication I'm on. So uh, that's why it takes a, a longer time for the scars to go away. Like, cause my skin is so much more sensitive right now. Cause like, that's not active acne. It's like scarring and it's so dark. I used this the other day. I don't know if I was having a weird day or what. I've used this forever, the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. And it like faded and creased and it like looked really bad by the end of the day. It was really strange because I never ever have bad luck with that concealer. Very strange. I don't know if it was just a wonky day or what. But I'm going to use some of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, which has been a current favorite. It's a little bit thicker than the formula I typically like. But it's really creamy, it blends out well, it doesn't crease. It has a really, really good coverage. If you have like a lot of darkness under the eye, girl, it will cover it. And I also use it to um, to bake, not bake, concealer on my eyes. Concealer on my eyebrows, oh my gosh. Still waking up. But I am gonna use a couple new products today. I've got this in my BoxyCharm um, from earlier in this video. This is the Blink Electric Eyes Palette. So we'll play with that. We'll play with that today. Like, look at the coverage on this. It's so crazy. I have a zit right here. <laughs> like, it's on, like, a bone. <laughs> like, it hurts so bad. Don't you hate when you get, like, a pimple in an awkward spot? And there's, like, nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Despacito. That song's been stuck in my head for, like, a week. Heavy baking. Ooh. Okay, I'm just going to use a little bit of the Hourglass arch brow sculpting pencil in blonde this is like an on and off favorite of mine I feel like I use it like all the time and then I take a break from it and then I remember how much I love it oh that was too much oops you see my hand I was just like <laughs> holding it here oh my gosh don't worry I'll fix this don't you worry I'll fix it will I <laughs> Will she fix it? No, she won't. It's one of those days where it's like, let's just conceal all of our insecurities. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Not our best brow. Not our worst brow. I also turned my AC off for this, and I'm hot. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little hot right now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. This one always is just like girl you want to have an easy time well you know what <laughs> jokes on you honey jokes on you 
I'll leave it because if I keep going, <laughs> it'll get messy. I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the only eyelid primer that's been working for me since summer began. Um, none of my primers work on my eyes right now. Um, everything has been creasing on me from the heat. This is the only one that locks it in for me, the Elizabeth Mott. Thank me later. Girl, I'm thanking you right now. <laughs> All right, so like I said, we're gonna play with the Blink Electric Eyes palette. Because these are all shimmery shades, I am going to, I'm still gonna do a soft Alex look because that's just me, but I am gonna use a matte bronze in the crease. The bottom line is, the reason I don't like to branch out of my comfort zone very often is because most of the time on these days, I have plans and stuff to do. Um, so if I do like a makeup look I don't feel comfortable in, I don't want to like go out of the house unless I take the makeup off. Like I can wear it, but I don't feel like <laughs> comfortable. Like most of the days after I film, I'm gonna go like grocery shopping or something. I mean, I can just take it off. I shouldn't, Never mind. Just forget it. <laughs> it's my job to do makeup. Just forget it. <laughs> but today I do have um, a very busy day ahead of me. So I want to do something semi-neutral. Neutral. I love this color in the crease. Like, if you haven't tried this bronzer yet, Sunny Smooth Skin Bronzer from NYC. You can get it like Target. It's like the perfect bronze matte shade. I use it on the skin. I use it in the crease. Oh, I use that, like, just that with mascara for an easy day. Okay. So these colors are really, really beautiful and really pigmented, as you remember from the swatches earlier. So I think I'm going to focus on, like, these two shades on the lid, just for, like, a really nice champagne-y eye. And then we might build a little depth. Oh my gosh, they are so pigmented. Can you guys see that? I hope it's translating on camera, because, like, it's insane like it's I'm gonna have to blend it but it's so pigmented I love a good shimmer if it's like neutral for every day unless I'm doing something like more exciting for nighttime um, all right and then I'm gonna take a little bit of um, these two colors here and just kind of work them in the crease and then to, towards the edge just to make a little dimension with a pointier brush this is a Tish Beauty brush um, I should probably start mentioning my brushes more I know you guys like to know. I'm gonna work a little bit of that deeper color. And I left my baking on because we gonna have some fallout, girl. I love this rose gold shade in the middle. There's a lot of fallout with this, so um, be warned when and if you do play with it. A little more bronzer and the crease to blend it all. It's a really pretty, oh, I feel like it's not translating on camera. It's a really, really pretty eye look though. But I'm gonna take a little bit more of that first shade, bring it back on the lid. So pretty, so pretty. This palette is so nice. So Bare Minerals also sent in the BoxyCharm the matte and glow powders. So I wanted to kind of try this a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna take a clean powder brush and of course your girl's gonna do matte first. We'll just set the T-zone. Let me see how it feels. Oh, it feels good. It feels mattifying for sure. A little bit matte on the nose. On the chin. Anywhere we get oily. Wipe away our baking. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the glow on the outer perimeters. And a little bit on the cheek. To set because it's not really like shimmery it just has like a very natural glow to it I could do a little more on the forehead I can see it it's real it is a nice like glowy but still matte finish to the face so actually feels good I don't normally use um, block block powders <laughs> What is the word for this? Why am I having compact powders? I usually use like a loose translucent for the face, so that actually felt really good. I have literally been wearing the Coco Collection skin palette almost every day. I'm obsessed with it. The bronzer in here is life. It's the perfect bronzer. It's, it reminds me of NYC Sunny too, but it's like got a little bit more shimmer to it. Oh my gosh, it's just like the perfect bronzer and it's so easy and blendable. 
I'm actually really in love with it. And I love the highlighter and the blush in here too. I have been bringing this with me on all my trips this summer. I actually sometimes bring just this and use it on the eyes. I use this on the eyes and this in the crease. And it's such a simple palette. Okay, and then we'll do a little bit of this blush. Oh, like this palette is everything. Mm -hmm. Such an easy, bronzy, glowy look. And then we'll finish up with, I mix the two highlighters. And it's just like a nice bronzy glow. So how are you guys? What is new? Tell me where you're going on your, if you're doing any summer vacations, are you doing any trips this summer? Just spending time with family, just relaxing. What are you doing this summer? I have been really busy this summer, which is weird because I've, I've never been this busy in the summer before. Um, my family has decided to take like a lot of spontaneous vacations this summer. So it's been really, really, really fun. I've been spending a lot of time with family, which I feel like was much, much needed whenever you feel kind of out of sorts. I feel like spending time with like family or people who like root you <laughs> feels really, really good. Um, I'm just gonna put a little mascara on the It Cosmetics Superhero before we do our lashes. God, those colors blended together so nicely on the eyes. Like they just look like melted into the skin. It's so natural. All right, so for lashes, I'm gonna reuse my Ardell Double Wispy Lashes. I am obsessed with these. I wish they sold them in like 12 packs at a discounted rate um, because they're so beautiful. Like you guys know I love my wispies, but these are like, ugh, well they're double wispies. So they're like wispies on steroids and I am obsessed with them. I feel like they look like really extreme eyelash extensions. All right, my camera battery is getting low. I'm gonna put my lashes on and be right back. Look at these lashes. Ooh, they're like <laughs> kind of a few days old. I can never get this one corner to like look normal. Um, I've been wearing them a few days. I almost like when they look a little bit more worn because then they start to look like lash extensions and that's what I wish I could have. Let's not talk about it. So, um, I'm going to do a very <laughs> helix lip because hello it me. We're going to use Whirl Lip Liner, I know, and Velvet Teddy because what else is new? What if I just left it like this? Hello it me, hello. When you love Velvet Teddy this much <laughs> best nude combo ladies ladies and gents i cannot recommend that combo enough all done oh i do have a new foundation to review i should have done that today the nyx total control i'll do it tomorrow oh i just blinked and i felt you know when you feel your mascara like oh girl i wasn't dry yet also i kind of like briefly just want to add a little contour I haven't been contouring, I've just been bronzing, but I just want to add a little contour, MAC contour kit. This isn't dark enough, because I'm tan. For once in my life, she is tan. All right, Anastasia. This is what you made me do. Yeah. I haven't, like, I don't think to contour in the summer. I always just like bronze. When your hair is just like, no, don't do makeup, look at me. Can we talk about the fact that Drew Monson is back on YouTube? And I'm so happy. He like took like, what, a year off? I love Drew, I love his sense of humor, I love him on Shane's videos. There we go, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay, we're done, it's all over. I had a good time hanging out with you, hoped you had fun hanging out with me, huh? Okay, I'm tired. <laughs> I need to go like eat some eggs and like get some energy. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this vlog and I will see you guys next time. Bye.